Yeah, what's going on everybody? DJ Star back with another video. Um, another unboxing, a quick one actually. But what I need y'all to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is DJ Star C, that's two R's, and come check me out. Um, I'm gonna do this one real quick because I just got some information about this and I wanted to share with y'all because there's a lot about this I did not know and it makes it more intriguing. I'm not so much a fan of the shoe, I think it's okay, but just in my size, size 12, it's just too big, it looks too bulky, I think, on my feet, but I'm not hating. So today we have a phone posit and this phone posit today is the penny phone posit. Um, I ain't gonna go too much into the box and all that because it looks like a standard Nike box, kind of like an Air Jordan 1 box, just black. But um, I wanted to get in these right quick. So here they go. Air Penny phone posits real fast so you know what they look like. Um, these are coming out this weekend too, and I think these are releasing because of the R-Star game or the celebration of the R-Star game. And why I say that, because if you look in the insole, you'll see it says 1996, and that was the jersey color with the stars on it for that year of the All-Star game. And of course, Penny was in them. So it's a phone posit. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with phone posit, but I do have some new, new thoughts on the technology. So if you look, the outsole is all black with um, royal blue um, herringbone traction on it. You got carbon fiber right here, carbon fiber plate. I'm not sure if that extends all the way to the forefront. You got zoom air in it as well, as you can see there. I'm assuming the zoom air is in both sides, and then this is a shank plate all the way through, but I'm not sure. You know, let me know in the comments if you know. You got the one cent logo, which is a dope logo. You go to the side of the shoe, and then you'll see they got that royal blue with like a, a stripe going all the way to the black with the gradient black. And I think that's really interesting. Here goes some more carbon fiber, and that's real carbon fiber. You can feel it, that's real carbon fiber. Maybe that's why the price tag is 230, I don't know. Um, and then you look at the back, at the heel of the shoe, then you have this one cent logo again. You got pinstripes on the inner, inner booty of the shoe. I guess that's for the Orlando jersey. You got them here, you got a star, and you got the one cent logo with a blue stripe going all the way down the side with your Royal Blue Nike hit right there. And um, here go the medial side of the shoe, more of the same black gritty and it's royal blue with the stripe on it and it's a pretty interesting shoe the reason i went ahead to do this unboxing other than to make or give you more content but also to give you um some knowledge about the shoe so when the shoe dropped initially sorry initially when the shoe dropped they didn't have an idea how to make it but they wanted to make it a shoe that conforms around your foot that you would just step in and it would just conform to your foot so the idea came up to be phone positive but then nike was searching for somebody to do the to make the technique or to make the machine to do it, but nobody wanted to do it. So out of nowhere, Daewoo, y'all know Daewoo from the cars and airbags, they made a, a contraption to make the phone positive shell, and it cost Nike $750,000. Remember, this is in 1990-something when these came out. So $750,000 to make a machine to make a shoe, to make a mold of a shoe was expensive, and that's why they always been so expensive, and that's why they're so expensive today. Initially, when these dropped, they didn't make a whole lot of money on them, but you know, they kept, they just kept, you know, reproducing them and retroing them and stuff like that. So they they started to kind of make a comeback, and they, I think, well, I want to say for a minute in the, in the mid two thousands, that these had a real good run as far as you know selling out and stuff. So that's going to kind of slow down. I think they should get back to some of their marketing with Penny and give him a new box and do some other things and make some new flavors with it, but. That's some of the history of the phone posit, and then make it even more interesting is that Penny was not the first athlete to wear the shoe. When Penny saw the shoe, first they approached the shoe, they brought the, the, the uh, sample to Scottie Pippen. He thought it was ugly, he turned it down. And then when Penny seen it in the sample bag, he said he wanted that to be his next shoe. But before they could debut the shoe, what they ended up doing was giving it to um, Mike Bibby to wear while he was still in college in Arizona. So he wore the first royal blue one and the black one. He wore it first three months before Penny got it on his feet. And then when Penny finally got it on his feet, the NBA had a problem with it because it didn't have, I want to say, enough black in it because the whole shell was royal blue and it was black up here. So what he did inside these grooves is took a Sharpie and, and painted it black. And they actually dropped a, a version of that a few years ago, well, probably about a decade ago, to celebrate that fact. So that's another reason why I wanted to bring you the phone positive today, just give you something different and new. Um, if you got any facts or anything about the phone positive that I didn't mention or you know about that you think is dope, just leave it in the comments below, man, and you know, holler at your boy. Other than that, man, I'm gonna get up out of here.
youtube.com. Like I said, subscribe to DJ Star C. That's my YouTube channel. I need to get my subscriber base up and um, try to keep doing this thing. So love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.